Okay, so I got a couple of cool freebies for you this month. First off is my Instagram graphic template here. This is a Mogurt template that you can use inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. It's essentially the Instagram logo, animates on screen with a text box that pops out. You can change the text in there. That background will automatically resize. It's pinned to the logo. So any changes that you make to this, everything will automatically respond. So for example, if you change the size of that Instagram logo, the text will automatically respond. You know what, let me just show you. So I'm inside of Adobe Premiere Pro here. I'm gonna go to Window and open up Essential Graphics. And with the Browse tab opened, I'm gonna go grab this Mogurt template and simply drag it and drop it over the panel. That will install it. You can also install it via this little button down here at the bottom right of the Essential Graphics panel. Now I'm gonna type in social media callouts. This way I don't have to sit here and scroll through all these to try to find it. Okay, here it is. Now I'm gonna click it and drag it into my sequence here. This is a 4K Ultra HD Mogurt template, so I have a 4K Ultra HD uh, sequence set up here so it fits perfectly. But if you're working in like a 1920 by 1080 uh, sequence, you're gonna need to scale it down or resize however you want. So as you can see, this comes with sound effects built in, and here's the font that I'm using. I'm gonna link to this in uh, the documentation, so if you wanna go download this actually before you install it. Now I can go up to the text box here, and I can type in whatever I want. As I click off here, you're gonna see that that background automatically responds. You're not gonna to need to resize anything. The animation will automatically fit. Everything's good to go. You can uh, change this to all caps if you want. Let's say we wanna change the font altogether. Now down here, I have three different groups of parameters. First up is scale. I can change the size of this logo. And once again, it's, it's designed uh, where the text is kind of pinned to the logo. So as I resize it, that text is gonna automatically reposition. Really helps, you don't have to tweak a lot of stuff. I can change the size of the text. Now, now let's open up position. I'm gonna put this in the lower left. And I have a text position fine tuning because sometimes you wanna add a little breathing room here between the logo and the text. So I can use this to push this out a little bit. And now let's say I wanna change the margins of the text box. I can go down here to text box and I have a number of different parameters. So let's say I wanna add like, a, you know, like another five pixels to the top and bottom of the margin. I can do that. And I can also round that out with the roundness control here. And let's bump it up. Let's give it a little more space on the right as well. Now let's say I wanna reuse this a bunch of times, like I have, let's say I'm um, collabing with some other uh, YouTubers or something and I wanna show all of their Instagram handles. The quick way to do that is just simply copy paste and then change it and then you'll have your each individual call out there. So this freebie comes from a premium product which I am releasing today. It's a social media call out graphic and it's essentially the same thing here but with the premium version, you can change the social media logo. So let's take a look at that. So I have two different looks of this particular Product. I'm going to drag both of these in. I'm going to click this and drag it over here. So now if I click on this and go to the edit tab, you're going to see it's exactly the same thing. However, now I have this social media logo drop down menu. And actually, let me just scale this up so you can see what's going on here. Now here, this allows me to just pick between one of these seven different logos. So I have Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat. So this is obviously really helpful. Um, if I'm duplicating these titles, I can put in as many as I want, depending on how many different platforms I wanna you know, reference. And like I said, there's two different versions. So that's version one. Version two is essentially the same thing, except that it has uh, this little radar ping with the sound effect. And now let me show you, if I have a 1920 by 1080 sequence here, and I bring one of these in, it's gonna give you the warning and say, do you wanna change a sequence size? Just keep the existing settings, but it's gonna be scaled up. So you can just right click on it, and you can go to set to frame size, and then you're gonna be ready to rock and roll. I have links to both the freebie and the premium product down in the video description, and the premium product is gonna be 50% off for the first week of January. So if you wanna get that, just uh, follow that link in the video description. Next up are some free map marker callout animation presets for Adobe After Effects. So I work a lot with animating maps. Um, I do a lot of freelance work with um, map creation. So I created these animation presets a few months ago so that I could automatically just double click on a preset 
and it would create a shape layer for me with these uh, animated ping effects. And I created 13 different looks. So I have a freebie, uh, which is just one of the circular animations. And then I have a premium product, which has 13 animation presets that you can buy. And again, I created these a few months back. However, I just updated them with some new code because previously um, I created these in 1920 by 1080 comp. So the problem is if you try to apply them in like a 4K comp or, or your comp has any other uh, resolution size, it's gonna automatically scale those down or place them in a different position. So I, I basically just added some code. So now when you apply these, they will automatically center both horizontally and vertically in your comp. So, and they'll rescale as well to match the height of your comp. So they're just essentially resolution independent, which makes them much easier to use. Well, first let's look at how to install these. Over here, I have my freebie. And on the right here, you just go to your documents folder, then go to Adobe and then After Effects 2020, and you can drop these in the User Presets folder. Maybe not drop them in 2020, whatever version of After Effects you're working with. However, I created these presets in After Effects 2020, so they're gonna work within this version and all later versions. Now I'm inside of After Effects, I'm gonna go to Window and open up Effects and Presets here. And now when I go to Animation Presets and open User Presets, I can see all of these here. So this one is the freebie, the Boons Map Callout Circle 01. So let's see how these work. I've got a 4K sequence and an HD sequence just to illustrate how these are gonna automatically fit. So here in the 4K, I'm gonna drop a map in here. I'm gonna right click and select Transform uh, Fit to Comp. So this is 4K. Now all I need to do is make sure that I don't have anything selected here and I'm gonna double click on this animation preset and it's automatically gonna add a new shape, shape layer. And if I look, if I isolate it, you can see that now I have this looping animation here. And this is really simple. If I grab the layer and hit the U key, you can see it's just four keyframes. If I wanna retime the speed of the ping or the pulse, I can just grab these last two keyframes and retime them. Just make sure you keep those lined up because if you move them or shift them, it's gonna mess up the entire animation. So if you wanna retime those, that's how you do it. Um, and then with it selected, if you go to the effect controls panel, you're gonna see all of the things you can edit here. You can change the size, the point size, um, master scale. You can change the colors of both the point and the pulse, the pulse opacity, and then you can position it. So let's get the map back up here. And let's say I just wanna put this um, somewhere over here. I've got up and down uh, position sliders and let's scale this down. And now just like that, I've got this uh, map marker ping here. Let's bring the size, let's bring the size of the point down even a little bit smaller. Now, if I go over to HD here, I'll show you the same thing. I just drop the map in here and right click, transform, fit to comp, now with that deselected, I'm gonna hit this again and it's created and then I'm gonna isolate it. And now you can see once again, it's uh, perfectly centered it and it's sizing it perfectly. So again, links down in the video description if you wanna get the freebie there, uh, donations are appreciated. If you wanna buy the premium pack, I think it's like $15 to get the 13 ones and here I'll show you a couple of different ones. So here we have the circle, um, you have squares, different looks. This is just a simple square. You have some with different strokes. And then you have triangles. You don't always have to use those in maps. Those are great callouts for anything. You can use them on photographs or you can track them into live video. So the last freebie is called Hylian. This is a really cool new tool from Battleaxe, the guy who created Overlord, Rubber Hose, a bunch of other cool tools. What this allows you to do is quickly duplicate a layer and link the keyframes of that layer via expressions. This is super useful, and let me show you how I'm gonna use it. So let's say I wanna create a little animation reveal um, via of this text. So what I would do is I would go here and I'd create the scale animation, and I would have this scale from zero to 100, and if I wanna do a reveal, well, let me just smooth these out real quick, easy ease. So normally what I do here to create a mat is I have this animation set here, and now to reveal it, I just duplicate it, bring it over my text layer, and then switch my text layer to an alpha map. And now I have this cool animation. The problem now is that if I wanna change these keyframes, 
it's gonna throw off, um, it's not gonna sync up with my map. So what I could do is go over to the map layer, hit the U key to reveal the keyframes, delete all the keyframes, and then grab the property link pick whip, and then attach that to scale. And now those are all connected. If I move the keyframes, it's gonna stay synced up. So Hylian basically does all of this just much faster. So let's see how it works. I wanna delete this mat. So now I just have this again. Let me just grab that background layer. And then here's Hylian. I'm gonna click it. And now it's duplicated this background. I'll turn it off. And let's see if it works. Okay, looks like it's working. And now if I grab that background layer that was duplicated and hit E, there's my expression, it's connected. And not only that, it is universalized. So no matter what language version of After Effects you're using, this is ready to go. Now I was real busy with freelance this month, so I did, didn't get around to doing a bunch of tutorials, but I did one in particular for Shutterstock's blog. It's called The Art of the Background, and I used uh, footage from Shutterstock to show you how you can utilize aspects of the background to enhance your shot, like with how you can make your subject pop from the frame um, using uh, color, using motion, so link to that in the video description. As always, if you wanna check out all of my original freebies, you can head over to boonlessvideo.com slash freebies. Also on my YouTube channel, you can check out the playlist free where you're gonna see all of my roundups for all of the months for this year. I think I started in March, so you're gonna have all the videos back to March. Those are roundups of all of, um, not only my own original freebies, but some really cool stuff from around the world. As always, if you like this video, hit that thumbs up button. And if you want to see more cool content like this in 2021, be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell.